Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to configure security playbook in Azure Sentinel. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm logged on to the portal. So before we proceed, a security playbook uh, is a collection of procedures that can be run from Azure Sentinel in response to an alert. A security playbook can help automate and orchestrate the response and can be run manually or set to run automatically when specific alerts are triggered. Security playbooks in Azure Sentinel are based on Azure Logic Apps, which means that we get all the power, customizability, and built-in templates for of Logic Apps. Each playbook is created for the specific subscription we choose, but when you look at the playbooks page, you will see all the playbooks across any selected subscription. So let me go to Azure Sentinel and try to configure a playbook. Here it is. So I do not have an existing workspace here. So I'm going to click on connect workspace. Let me configure the Azure Sentinel. I'm going to click on create a new workspace. And I'm going to create uh, create new. Test Sentinel RG. And I'm going to name it. Workspace. Let's go in East US location. There you go. Review create. And I'm going to hit on create here. So let me pause the video and come back as soon as it is done. All right, I'm going to click on add Azure Sentinel to this workspace. It's going to take time on of its own to deploy it. Say successfully added Azure Sentinel to workspace this. It, takes, it might take a few minutes for your workspace to appear in Azure Sentinel workspace list, which is okay. So I'm let's say I'm in the dashboard of the Azure Sentinel here. So if I go to under configuration, I go and select playbooks. It says no playbooks to display. I'm going to click on add a playbook. And after adding a playbook, I'm going to, uh, in the, it will come give an option for me to design a workflow for this playbook in this Azure Sentinel. It's, it will give me a central uh, create logic app page. So I'm going to select the resource group that I created at the beginning of this video. Logic app would be test Sentinel L app. East US review create and click on create and when it will be created I'm going to go to the resource so now I'm into the logic app that I created as a part of the work broke or work flow of my Sentinel. Here I will get the Logics app designer. So in this you can select a template that you want to use to create the template that you want to use to create this flow. Um, you can also create a new blank playbook from scratch by selecting the blank playbook so blank logic app click on it and you can either build a new or edit the template so if you if we are creating a bank blank playbook so in in this uh, the field which says search connectors and uh, triggers I'm going to type in Azure Sentinel 
I see it here. I'm going to select when a response to an Azure Sentinel alert is triggered. Okay. My tenant would be a default directory. I'm going to click on sign in. So this will create a connection to my from for my tenant the default directory to Azure Sentinel. So I think I will got get a pop up created. It says no additional information is needed here. I'm going to click on save. And I'm going to go to my Azure Sentinel dashboard. I'm going to click on refresh. I will see my playbook here, test Sentinel logic app. I'm going to click on uh, the, uh, now I can go to my logic app. Let's say I go to my Azure Sentinel dashboard. I click on my playbook. I can click on edit and add a new step. Now you can define what happens when you trigger the playbook. You can add an action, logical condition. You can switch case condition or loop. Now let's say how do you want to, how to run a security playbook. You can also run a playbook on demand. So if you go to Sentinel and you click on incidents under threat management. It says no incidents were found. And let's say you got an incident here. You can uh, click on the add incident and you can uh, uh, click on uh, the alerts tab under the incident and uh, click on the alert you want to run the playbook on and scroll by all the way to do to the playbook that you want to select. Okay. And you can automate threat uh, responses as well using the your uh, ticketing tool and you can automate the responses as well. So I hope you liked it. If you have any feedback, if you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.